Hey everybody, welcome back. Now I have stressed in the past how important it is to have a fire extinguisher in your home, especially if you're a prepper. Well today, we're going to try out a more affordable option. This is the First Alert Tundra Disposable Fire Extinguisher Aerosol Spray. Alright everybody, welcome back. So this is the cool video, because this is where I get to actually use one of these. I wasn't going to use my other one and refill it right away, because that can get a little expensive. But this is kind of the fun part. Now I recently did that video on a fire extinguisher with a refillable option. You can refill it. It was a bit more expensive, so that's the reason I'm covering these, because price really shouldn't matter whether you have some basic safety equipment. And if you're a prepper, you're prepared from everything from having the bug out because the zombies are coming to something as simple as a stove fire. So. That's why I mentioned these. I think they're very, very important. Um, they even have a, a place when it comes to like extreme situations, like even civil unrest. If somebody's rioting and throwing, you know, firebombs or something. As crazy as that sounds, you can put this out inside your house. If somebody does something stupid, you have a way to protect yourself from it. So, this is something that First Alert has come up with a while now. They've had these disposable fire extinguishers, but this is a little bit of the improved one. This is the Tundra. This thing has four times greater discharge than traditional fire extinguishers. It's an easy to use aerosol can with an intuitive, easy to use nozzle. The cleanup, simple. Anything you spray down with it, if it isn't damaged by the fire, you just wipe it up with a damp cloth. And the stuff inside is biodegradable, so you're not spraying poison on things. So if you have to use this, say, in the kitchen for a grease fire, you're covered. You can wipe everything down, wash it off really good, and everything's okay. So the first thing I want to tell you about these is they are an ABC fire extinguisher. They'll do all three basic fires. You got grease, fabric and trash, and electrical. I wouldn't recommend anything less than that for a house fire extinguisher. I remember we were covering this stuff in our cert class, and of course we were testing with water fire extinguishers with just water under pressure to learn how to use them. But they told us never to use water on a grease fire, and that's just common sense because you'll just make it worse. And you really were looking for something that will put out Grease fires, house fires, wood, stuff like that burning in your home, and electrical fires. Now, another rule with these. If you're using this and you're trying to put out a fire and you're not, you know, the can's empty and you're not getting anywhere, leave the area, leave your home. Better that you leave and everything burns to the ground than you get killed in a fire trying to fight it with an empty fire extinguisher. Let's mention price quickly. For one of these, it's $11.99, and for two, it's $23.80. Now, these have a decent shelf life. Um, again, I have to look where they were. There we are. Expires 9-19-2024. I don't know if you can see it up there. I, I, I always misjudge the camera because I can't see it too well on the screen, but yet it's clear as day when I edit the video. So, you got a good long life with these. They can be kept in any kind of environment, hot or cold, doesn't matter. You'll be okay with them. And another thing, too, is when you get these... The first thing you're going to want to do is take off that seal. Now we're going to use this one today because that seal looks like it's easier to take off. Now when fighting a fire with a fire extinguisher, there's some basic rules. Actually, it's a basic method, we should say. And that is the pass method. Basically, it means pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. So you're going to pull that off or pull your ring out. You're going to aim it at the fire. You're going to squeeze and sweep. Now. What would you think? Do you want to do the top or the bottom? <laughs> it's funny because some people always say the top, I want to get the flames down. That's not what you want. You want to put where the fire is actually going, on the bottom. If you can put all the flames you want out here, if this is still burning down here, you're not going to have as much luck. So you definitely want to take this and hit the bottom of your area back and forth like that until it's out. When that happens, when you see it's out and smoking, give it a few seconds, assess it, and hit it again just to be safe. Then you can go in from there and decide what to do from that point. So that's this pass method. So here's the fun part. This is going to be a super long video today. But we're going to go outside and I'm going to put a fire. I'm going to start a fire in my fire pit. Not in my house, I promise. <laughs> and uh, we're going to try this out. Now I understand it's a wood fire in a fire pit in a controlled environment. Totally different from, say, grease fire on your stove with a propane bottle next to it. You know, I get that. But it'll give you an idea of how quickly and how well this works. So let's take it outside, I'll show you what I got set up, and then we'll start the fire and try it out. Alright, so back here you have my, my fire pit that I built. I've had this thing here for years. 
Um, it's really handy. We can burn our agricultural garbage. And I've used it for a very, very long time. I've had to replace a few bricks because they break over time. But as a general rule, this is a pretty efficient little fire pit. And it only probably gets used once or twice a year. So we're going to light that wood up in there. And I'm going to let it really, really go and burn. And then we're going to try the fire extinguisher out. So give me a few minutes to get that going and I'll bring you back. All right, so we got a fire going. I'm going to give it a little bit longer to get a little more exciting because that's kind of boring there. It's not really roaring yet. So we'll give it a little bit more time and I'll bring you back and we'll put it out. All right, so we got a good fire going there. It's going pretty decently now. I know you can't probably see too well because it's so darn bright out here. <laughs> it's the first nice day we've had in a while. So I'm going to hit the bottom of it with the can. I have the can right here. I've taken the top off, so there's the pull part. You don't have to shake these when you're using them. Um, you do not need any shake. No need to shake. Just spray in any position. So here we go. Let's try it out. You notice how I'm getting the bottom. You get all that smoldering stuff out of there. Give it a few more minutes here to make sure that it's totally out. It'll smolder for a little bit. You'll notice this, this is like a foam. When it hits the uh, burning areas, it kind of turns brown and sizzles and bubbles up a little bit. So it's definitely doing its job. I mean, that put that out pretty darn quickly, and I had a couple of full pieces of fat wood in there that were just going nonstop. So it put them right out. So now we've given it some time, you see the fire is completely out. And yeah, a couple sticks didn't burn after all there. But the uh, fire is completely out. So we hit it one more time. I don't know why I just shook it. <laughs> no need to shake it. One last time to make sure. I'll go behind a little bit. Just get down in there, see where it's smoking. There you go, that fire's out. Now, of course, in a real-world situation, I mean, this is safe to leave this here like it is now, but in a real-world situation, you'd want to keep an eye on that, maybe get some of that stuff out of the way once it cools off. Inside your home, of course, you'd want to call the fire department and let them know that you think you have it out, but you want to have them come check in case there's extensions into your walls or anything like that. But all in all, pretty darn good. And I will tell you right now, this thing is almost empty. We'll run it till it's empty. I can feel it so much lighter. I just want to make sure it's out, too. Yeah, there you go. Completely empty. But it did put that fire out very easily. It was out the first time. I just kind of ran it and finished it off to make sure. So, pretty darn good thing. So let's go inside. I'll wrap things up and I'll tell you where you can get them and uh, what the deal is with them. All right, back inside. Looks like the fire was successfully put out. Um, again, you know, if you see yourself fighting a fire and you see you're losing, that's when it's time to evacuate. But something like this can stop small fires that could turn into bigger ones. They could also help you escape a situation. You know, if you've got only one window in your bedroom and you've got to get out that window and the fire is in front of that window, you can escape out using something like this. So definitely a handy prepper item to have. And definitely affordable, you know, at $11.99 for one of these. You know, if you have a smaller apartment, you can get two for $23.80. Not expensive, not super expensive. The other fire extinguishers, you know, they can run a bit more. So definitely something you see works very well and definitely a prepper item. Um, remember, we're prepared for everything, not just disasters, floods, whatever. A common house fire can knock you down just as hard as the zombie hordes invading. <laughs> so... Definitely a prepper item. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. I will put a link down below to where you can pick them up. Um, you can get one or two, depending on what you choose. You can get a whole bunch of them if you want. And I will put a link down below to my store. Don't forget to check out the store. Everything I review goes into the store. At least most that I can find goes in there. And if you don't see anything you like in the store, just search in the search bar up top. Find what you do like and uh, shop from there. It really helps out the channel. You don't have to buy stuff in the store. You just click the link and shop normally really helps us out. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link down below. Slowly they're getting stuff back into stock again. This is probably when you want to kind of step up. You're prepping a little bit more right now um, with uh, Thrive Life. You can do that. They got all the different types of freeze-dried food you want. It's good, clean food. Definitely good stuff. I thank you for watching, folks. Stay safe and stay prepared.